well, one question for you guys. What do you think the worth is of, the, of local action in the face of the huge power, corporate power, media power, global power that we're sort of trying to, to make a, a dent in? Well, uh, we just have, again, we can draw the lessons from uh, the Vietnam War, which uh, the anti-war movement in its initial phase was very small, very marginalized, and uh, eventually more and more people in the country, as veterans came back from Vietnam, as more and more people were forced to face the decisions regarding a draft, the question of their uh, perspective in life, uh, the anti-war movement became much more of a, a national in character and, and, and local. And it took on all many different forms, both militant and peaceful, uh, nonviolent resistance level. And I just also saw an excellent documentary, Sir No Sir, which rehashes and brings us back the perspective of the resistance within the army and within the military of those soldiers against the war in Vietnam. And even myself, having and, and, and Tommy, uh, having been a generation, you know, we've been so bombarded with this image of that. Uh, those who speak on behalf of veterans of Vietnam are all pro-war. Well, obviously, as the film showed, uh, that era was uh, fueled by mass protests outside and within the military. And I think that actions like today, all but also very instrumental, is the work within the communities. Like, for example, uh, in Harlem, there is also uh, a mobilization of, of grandmothers who are also now beginning to mobilize in the community against the war. And that's very significant in the African American community, in the Latin community, and of course in general in the working class arena within the framework of organized labor. And uh, one can't diminish or, uh, or under, underestimate the power of e even one individual in terms of resisting the, uh, the, uh, the uh, dominant agenda or the dominant view. Uh, obviously, I think that uh, without having statistical uh, reflection, nevertheless, obviously for the mass of the people in this country, the war is not a, a beneficial, whether they're conscious of it or not, the war is not beneficial for the vast majority of people in this country. And uh, as the Vietnam and other wars have shown, only a very small sector of the of, of, of political life and economic life benefit from any war. Uh, it's, it's, it's not the vast majority of people who are basically struggling uh, to make ends meet or to meet uh, 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 the necessities of life. You said it all. <laughs> Very good.